In early 2025, a seismic announcement emerged from a high-security lab in Shenzhen, sending shockwaves through the global technology community. The world's attention turned to China, as rumors swirled about a breakthrough that could alter the balance of power in the semiconductor industry. China had built a working prototype of an extreme ultraviolet lithography machine, a feat that many experts had long considered out of reach for any country except the Netherlands. This was not just a technical achievement but a symbol of China's relentless drive to master the most advanced chip-making technology on Earth. This was more than hardware, it was a bold declaration that China would not be sidelined in the global tech race. The announcement electrified Chinese scientists and engineers, who saw their years of effort finally recognized on the world stage. For years, the world believed EUV technology was too complex for any nation to replicate outside the Dutch firm, ASML. The intricate optics, the precision engineering, and the sheer scale of investment required seemed insurmountable. Yet China's prototype shattered that illusion, signaling a new era in the global chip war. The news dominated headlines, with analysts scrambling to assess the implications for the future of technology and geopolitics. The machine, a massive feat of engineering, represents a state-led push for self-sufficiency in the world's most critical industry. It stands as a testament to years of investment, collaboration, and national ambition, aiming to secure China's place at the forefront of innovation. Though not yet producing commercial chips, its existence has forced every major player to rethink what's possible. The global semiconductor industry, once confident in its technological lead, now faces a new and unpredictable competitor. For Huawei, leading the project is a fight for survival and a quest for technological vindication. The company, long targeted by international sanctions, now finds itself at the center of a national mission with global consequences. CEO Ren Zhengfei now oversees this mission, briefing top Chinese leaders and transforming Huawei into the spearhead of China's tech counteroffensive. His leadership is seen as crucial, rallying both government and industry behind a common goal. This is not just about catching up, it's about challenging ASML's dominance and reshaping the global power landscape. The rivalry is no longer theoretical, it's playing out in real time, with the world's most advanced technologies at stake. The world is watching, will China's audacious gamble pay off, or will the barriers of science and industry prove too high? The next chapter in the global tech race has just begun. To truly grasp the magnitude of China's breakthrough, you first need to understand the marvel that is EUV lithography, a technology at the very heart of modern electronics. Imagine trying to draw an entire city map, with all its intricate roads and alleys, onto the tiny surface of a postage stamp. EUV is the ultra-fine pen that makes this feat possible, allowing for astonishing detail at a scale almost impossible to see. These machines use powerful lasers to generate extreme ultraviolet light which is then harnessed to etch impossibly small microscopic circuits onto silicon wafers. This process is what enables the creation of the world's most advanced and powerful chips. Every smartphone in your pocket, every AI server powering the cloud, and every supercomputer driving scientific discovery relies on chips crafted with this cutting-edge technology. EUV unlocks the next generation of computing, making it possible to pack billions of transistors into a single chip. With features just a few nanometers wide, thousands of times thinner than a human hair. Without EUV, progress in semiconductors would grind to a halt, stalling innovation in everything from consumer electronics to national security. Each EUV machine is a technological wonder, costing over 200 million, weighing 180 tons, and requiring the precise coordination of thousands of components and engineers from around the world. At its core, are mirrors, from Carl Zeiss, engineered to guide light with atomic-level precision, ensuring every detail is perfectly etched. Whoever controls EUV technology holds the keys to the future of high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, and the digital economy itself. Until now, this immense power and influence was concentrated in just one place, shaping the entire global supply chain. With China's dramatic entry into the EUV race, the competition for this technological magic has become a defining global contest, one that will shape the future of innovation, industry, and geopolitics for years to come. In Veldhoven, ASML quietly holds the keys to the world's most advanced chips, 
For two decades, ASML's relentless pursuit of EUV lithography created a monopoly like no other. If you want to make cutting-edge chips, you need ASML, there's no alternative. This dominance is built on a global web of 800-plus specialized suppliers, from German optics to American lasers. The Dutch government, pressured by the US, has used this choke point to block China's access to EUV. ASML's neutrality has vanished. It's now at the center of a geopolitical tug-of-war. The monopoly, once a symbol of collaboration, is now a weapon in a new kind of conflict. China, boxed in by these restrictions, has only one option — break the monopoly and build its own EUV machine. The stakes are no longer just commercial, they're geopolitical. The chip war's front line runs through ASML's factory floor. The roots of China's EUV project trace back to Washington, D.C., where decisions made in the halls of power would set off a global technology race. In these rooms, the seeds of a new era in tech rivalry were quietly planted, with consequences that would soon ripple across continents. In 2018, the U.S. blocked China's access to ASML's EUV machines, exposing Beijing's vulnerability in the most advanced chip-making technology. This move sent shockwaves through China's tech sector, making it clear that access to cutting-edge tools could be cut off at any moment. The pressure escalated in 2019 when Huawei, China's tech champion, was hit with crippling U.S. sanctions. Suddenly, it was cut off from vital American software and hardware, threatening its global ambitions and sending a warning to every Chinese tech company. Instead of breaking, Huawei and China doubled down on self-sufficiency. Engineers and executives across the country began working around the clock, determined to reduce their reliance on foreign technology and build their own solutions from the ground up. The final blow came in 2022, when sweeping U.S. export controls targeted not just EUV, but a wide range of chip-making tools and materials. These new restrictions threatened to halt China's progress in the semiconductor industry altogether. The U.S. rallied its allies in Europe and Asia to enforce these restrictions, slamming the door on China's tech ambitions and making it nearly impossible to import the equipment needed for advanced chip production. Faced with containment, Beijing mobilized its state apparatus and tech giants, launching massive investments to build a domestic semiconductor supply chain from scratch. The government made it a national priority, pouring resources into research, development and manufacturing. The sanctions meant to cripple, instead ignited a national crusade. Across China, engineers, scientists, and entrepreneurs united with a renewed sense of purpose, determined to overcome the barriers imposed from abroad. Now, China's drive for technological independence is a matter of survival, not just pride. The nation's future in the global tech landscape depends on its ability to innovate and produce at home. The chip war had become a catalyst for China's most ambitious tech project yet, transforming a challenge into a rallying cry for a new era of innovation and resilience. In response, China launched a state-led initiative rivaling the Manhattan Project, this time, the goal was technological sovereignty. Huawei, wounded by sanctions, became the command center, coordinating thousands of engineers across state and private sectors. CEO Ren Zhengfei now leads a technological army, briefing top officials and ensuring political and financial backing. The project spans everything from chip design to machine integration, all under a veil of secrecy. Billions in state funding are compressing decades of R&D into just a few years. This is no longer just about telecom, it's about breaking free from Western tech dominance. Huawei is now the vanguard of China's digital independence. The stakes, nothing less than the future of China's place in the digital world. Deep in Shenzhen, a high-security skunkworks lab is the heart of China's EUV ambitions. Engineers live on site, working around the clock under strict security, driven by a sense of national mission, China's secret weapon, aggressively recruiting global talent, especially ex-ASML experts, lured with huge salaries and signing bonuses. These insiders bring not just technical know-how, but the unwritten knowledge that took ASML decades to build. Figures like the mysterious Lin Nan, rumored to be a former ASML light source chief, are key to China's progress. By transplanting this expertise, China isn't just copying hardware, it's importing the DNA of EUV mastery. The human element is China's secret accelerator in the race to catch up. By early 2025, 
China's EUV prototype was operational, a giant leap, but still rough compared to ASML's refined machines. The challenge now is precision. EUV is a system of systems, demanding flawless integration of thousands of parts. The biggest hurdle? Replicating the ultra-reflective mirrors perfected by Germany's Carl Zeiss. China must also build its own lasers, vacuum chambers, and robotics, an entire ecosystem from scratch. Making one prototype is hard, mass-producing reliable machines is far harder. Still, China's progress is rapid, compressing what took ASML a decade into just a few years. The crude prototype is a learning platform, and the pace of improvement is accelerating. The journey is daunting but China is closing the gap faster than anyone expected. The question now isn't if China can build EUV, but how soon it can make a commercially viable machine. Experts are split, some say it'll take years, others warn not to underestimate China's ambition and resources. The official target is 2028, but many expect a breakthrough by 2030. Even ASML's former CEO admits sanctions are forcing China to innovate in unexpected ways. China may not just copy ASML, it could leapfrog with new solutions. Success would supercharge China's ambitions in AI, supercomputing, and military tech. The race for EUV is now a defining front in the US-China rivalry, with global power at stake. Imagine a world where ASML is no longer the sole gatekeeper of advanced chipmaking. If China succeeds, the global tech map will be redrawn, ending the West's monopoly and sparking a new era of competition. Two rival tech ecosystems would emerge, one led by the US and ASML, the other by China. Supply chains would fracture, and companies would be forced to pick sides. The US would lose a powerful tool of foreign policy, and China would gain freedom to pursue its ambitions. The balance of power would shift, accelerating the US-China rivalry and reshaping global stability. As of January 2026, the outcome is uncertain, but the prototype in Shenzhen is a symbol of what's at stake. The race for EUV supremacy will define the shape of the 21st century.